Storytellers, the main mechanic that runs RimWorld and your playthroughs. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top storytellers you can put into your RimWorld game and how they tick. So first up on our list is one of the older modded storytellers, that being Howard Phillips Lovecraft. As you might guess, this is one storyteller who's going to spell doom and madness for your pawns. You will create omens as simple as black cat arriving on the outskirts to a blood moon in the sky. Then he will send the terrible event afterwards. Pair this with other Rim of Madness mods and you are up for an insane time on the rim. Now these next three are from Vanilla Expanded but have their own separate mod for just a storyteller. They are put here since they kinda do the same thing, acting like a copy of Cassandra but limiting your tech. Neuron Neolithic will keep you in the Neolithic era of technology. If you have the VE Classical, there is a copy of this storyteller there. Menard Medieval from VE Medieval, like the name suggests, holds you in the medieval area. Then Diego Dyer, or Industrial as him on his own, is from the Settlers mod, keeping you in the Industrial era. All these are great for role play setups or if you don't feel like playing with VE mods, however, there are more specialized vanilla expanded storytellers that we will go through in this video. Freyfias can be seen as a counterpart of Mnyad Medieval in how she locks you in the Atta era. However, like him, she is a random storyteller just like Randy Random. On top of that, she will give your colonists a kind of mood debuff if you don't go out and do quests. Think of this like the raid precept in ideology forcing you to go out and do quests or raid settlements. Oh, and you know, she is a viking and we all know vikings are pretty awesome. Empress Evil from VE Insectoids does not like you. One could argue the other storytellers want to tell you or are just bored. This is one of the many storytellers on our list who straight up is malicious. She will not give you beneficial events, instead opting for anything that's considered bad or can lead to bad things. Things like bonding with animals because if you lose a colonist or an animal, now you got a sad colonist or a berserk animal. Meteor is landing on your med bay, but hey, it's steel to replace it. This is one queen who I think we should drop some nukes on. Only way to be sure. Eagle Invader is a storyteller who one would think is malicious, but he is a bit more fair. He will double all damage inflicted on you and opponents and even warn you of raids. Raids he is sending at you. He will reward you for survival, but if you lose a colonist to the raid, the enemy will gain more reinforcements to take advantage of your weakness. A storyteller to test your combat skills and at least plays a bit fair in some aspects. Just don't think you'll get off planet unscathed. Moving on from Vanilla Expanded for a moment, we have Liar Livid, and boy does she live up to that name. She looks like if you just walked away for an hour and came back to your whole base burned to the ground cause someone left the stove on. Why is she livid? She hates the lack of visitors, so she gives you more visitors, meaning more traders, quests, and of course, raids. Have fun with this one, gonna get a bit crowded at your place. Anyone ever see Spawn ever wanted to have Spawn watching over you? Not me, because he totally would destroy me. But hey, now you can have Spawn as a storyteller, and this mod even comes with its own start and scheduled raids and events. Oh, and what else makes him special? He blocks access to dev mode. Yeah, that's right. No cheating with him around. You either survive or die under his watch. The Polaris Security Force mod has been around for a while, but did you know that not only do you get some sweet sci-fi tech to mow enemies down, you also get a storyteller. Erica here tends to like stories that have sudden setbacks, so be prepared for some good moments and suddenly a few waves of bad. At least you got awesome technology to keep you alive. When my writer brought this one to me, he got a bit nostalgic. Oh, Lee Emery, a great man and a great cameo. Now you can honor his memory as a storyteller by Chicken Plucker who will do everything to make a real soldier out of you. When you get this mod, check out the difficulty options. You now get Crucible difficulty. War never changes, always is hell, and Rimworld will test your skills with this Sarge watching over you. Moving on to another soldier watching your game, we have Winston Waves. Now here is something you might not know. Winston was an old, old, old character in the workshop. Yeah, had a bit of a facelift, and with him, he will set you up to a Dual waves of raids. Every time you beat a raid, it gets tougher, but you will get an influx of rewards to keep you going. Bren tells me he loves this mod since he tends to go full Imperial Fist in his defenses, and the constant supplies will allow you to keep enduring the attacks. Plus, it's customizable. Get rid of events you hate, increase the time it takes, or just shorten it to the minimum and go nuts. This is one of the best storyteller mods out there. Newbert gives it a 10 out of 10 Woody Human Meat again. Back to Vanilla Expanded, we have a, a persistent storyteller. Perry the persistent storyteller. Uh, yes, so Perry here is a man who wants a large story with twists and turns. His methods for that are many events and quests, doubling your usually population, and even coming with a unique man in black event, the man in the coat. All in all, a solid choice if you want more action without it getting too insane. Now, Casper Cursed is a pirate who wants a more chaotic game. For Vanilla Expanded Pirates, he will act like Randy Random, but with a twist. He lets you set up Cursed upon your 
colony. Big modifiers that can radically alter your playstyle, like all mineable resources turn into gold. All weapons have a 90% cooldown reduction. Everything explodes like everyone drank a bunch of chemshine. Why would you do this? Well, for the challenge, but he actually delays bigger raids and lets you have more colonists before the big harsh events kick in. Might be helpful in that sense. From VE Agents, we have Alfred Ancient. He believes in a small, tight-knit group who grows to take on any challenge. He acts as Cassandra Classic and will rise all threats up at a steady rate. He also makes it harder to recruit pawns after you get your fifth pawn. So what does he give to help you? No skill drain. Yeah, that's right. No more having to constantly check on pawn skills to top up their higher level skills. You can end the game with five maxed out pawns and take on any threat. Theoretically, Rimworld's gonna Rimworld. The new expanded has a lot of story towers. Don't worry, we are almost done. VE Psycasting gives us Basilisk Bestower. He wants epic ballads of great power and epic fight scenes. His plan, give every pawn that shows up in a raid a chance to have power. Things are about to get crazy because when the magic starts flying, everyone's gonna get hurt. This is a good mod if you are looking for more Psycasters with VE and maybe a bit more challenge and chaos in the raids. So for the final VE storytellers in this video, we have to talk about what might be the most chaotic of the storytellers, Rimworld Rick and Oscar Obnoxious. Both April Fools release mods. Both also do similar things. Oscar is a little more stable in how at a set time he will give out a patch note, altering some numbers and multiple items. They might be good, like more bullets out of a gun, perhaps a damage buff. Well, maybe suddenly your cooldown went from minus 5% to plus 2,294%. Yeah, just don't know, and I don't think Oscar cares about the critics when he is running your game. As for Rick, he messes with the texture and text in your game. Apparently a punishment for those on the workshop who submit bug reports with no hug lib report. I don't need to explain why messing with everything makes the game harder. Great for a prank, I suppose. Get this on someone's PC and have them wonder what the hell is going on. All in all, I don't recommend them both in any serious game, but in the chaotic game of livestream, might be a fun time for all. Now, if you want war and lots of it, Mifune Fortune is for you. Using him either on his own or in the Samurai Faction mod, he will test your resolve as a warrior, sending more and more raids towards you. Good news, he also is more likely to send ally support to you, so make sure your friends take out your enemies. And be grateful, he also lowers disease chances since he clearly wants a warrior's death. Also, can I say I love how modders now follow the alliteration format for their storytellers so supremely satisfying. A while back, we talked about many race mods, and one of them we mentioned was the ogre ladies that are the Kitchen. You know, the ones with the two massive honking storytellers. Yeah, this mod comes with two storytellers, Hell on the Hellfire and the Echo Brothers. So I guess it's technically three storytellers. Both will alter the game by adding more raids at once. Helena summons multiple raids near each other, possibly triggering a war right on your doorstep or perhaps twice the war right in your base. <laughs> While the Echo Brothers will echo events doubling them all, so twice the benefits, twice the trouble. This also is a pretty well-made race mod, might have to revisit it at a later time because it has gotten more improvements including biotech compatibility. Going back to the Halo days, there is the UNSC faction mod, and naturally you get the Master Chief as your storyteller from it. He will double your population and increase random events and quests. Guess he wants you to constantly finish the fights, fitting for that spot. Another classic set of storytellers are the trio of ladies from Rincinal. First of them is Escipiter Accidental, I probably butchered that. She will go super easy on you early in the game, preparing your colony for when she decides to annihilate it. In her eyes, your base is just an animal to be fattened up and be ready for slaughter, so prepare yourself if you play with her. Seren is sadistic, meanwhile will barrage you with minor problems, but in return reduce the rage. She wants you to overcome the day-to-day -day life on the Rimworld, though still make you frustrated. Finally, Hildegard, heroic, she wants you to become a hero, forged by conflict, so she will ease up on smaller incidents and instead focus on the larger threats to send towards you. Really, all three of these ladies are gonna test your colony in their own special way, but you can't say they aren't fair. Now, the final storyteller on this list. Okay, time to talk about the most infamous of the storytellers. Difficult ones like Empress Evil got nothing on this one. The Void Storyteller is going to destroy you. For him, he will rarely send you a good raid, instead opting for up to 12 negative events at once, daily. Hate to use this cliche, but Mr. Void is the Dark Souls of storytellers. He can be beaten, it has been done, but for every victory against him, he has claimed easily 1,000 lesser colonies. And if you want to really punish yourself, play with him and his faction, have fun getting your teeth kicked in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you missed the storyteller, you like, let us know in the comments. Who knows? Might have to make another video in the future. Once more, show up to ruin your colony's day. And as always, I'd like to thank all the wonderful patrons that make content like this possible. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you very much.